Let's go to page 403 and let's do number 2. Okay, this one you're looking for LCM, so number 2. You have 3 and 9. So to find the LCM, okay, first you need to find the, G, uh, the GCF. So 3 and 9, both are divisible by 3, so put 3 and this will be 1 and 3. Okay, so you, this one they don't ask you for GCF, but this that's your GCF. But so LCM is equal to times all these together, so 3 times 1 times 3 equal to 9. Okay, okay let's go to number 4. In okay, number 4, you have 2y and a y. Well, this one is so simple, you don't even need to do that, okay? So look at the number 2 and 1. Uh, so this common multiple, so first you do the number, 2 and 1 is 2, and you have y and a y, so it'll be just y. Okay, let's do number six. Okay, you got three z and four z. Okay, so the LCM of three and four is equal to twelve. Right, this common multiple of three and four is twelve, and the z and the z will be just z. Okay, so what you do is you take the higher one, and they are the same, so you just pick any one. Okay, let's go to eight. Okay, you got 18, A squared, B, C, and then you have 16, A, B squared. Okay, so what you want to do is first you focus on the number, okay, so you got 18 and a 16, right? So both are divisible by 2, so divide by 2, you're going to get 9, and you're going to get 8. Okay, and that's as far as you can go, so you're going to get L. CM, the this kind of multiple, you just multiply all these together. So 8 times 9 is 72, times 2 will give you 144. So this take care of the number. Now you go down the alphabet. You got A squared and A, so this common kind of multiple would be A squared. Okay? This is the lowest that equal to become multiple of both, right? Okay? So again, you take a higher degree. Now you got B and B squared, so you take the B squared. And you got C, and so this is C to the 1. And when you don't see anything, it means Z, C to the 0. So this is a higher one. So just take that. Okay? And so that's your LCM. Okay, let's go to number 10. Okay, number 10, it says one LCD. Now, LCD and LCM, they are, in a way, they are the same. But the difference is LCD is on a denominator. LCM would be just, you know, just you know, factors without the fraction. Okay, so number 10, you got 13 over 50, x to the 3, y to the 4, minus 17 over 20, x squared, y to the 5. Okay? Now this one says, do not add the rational. They just want to find LCD. Okay? So just like this over here, so looking for LCD, so you don't even have to worry about what's on the top. So just look on the bottom. Okay? So to find LCD, first you take out the number. So you got 50 and 20. Okay? So divide by, now it's very tempting to do the 10 right away, but um, in this case it's okay. But if you have multiple numbers, then you, then you can run to prime. So better just go and do 2, 25, and 10, okay? And then just go down the prime numbers, so 2, 3, 5, it would be 5 and 2, okay? So, so your LCD, now because it's denominator, that's why it's called LCD. This is LCM because it's no fraction. But they are the same thing, same principle. Okay, so LCD, you're going to multiply this together. So this is 10. This is 10. So 10 times 10 give you 100. Okay? So that takes care of the number. Now you go down the alphabet. Okay? So you got x squared. So, so you got x squared and x cubed. So it'd be x cubed. Right? You take the higher one. So you got y4 and y5. So you do the y5. Okay? And that's it. Okay, so that's your LCD. Okay, let's go to number 12. Okay, you got 5 over B plus B over B minus 5. Okay, now in this case, LCD is equal to the, so you have to go down the number, alphabet, and the group. So number, there's no number. Alphabet is B. Okay, and your group is B minus 5. So they're not the same. I can think about it, the illustration of apple, pineapple, right? They're very similar, but they're totally different thing, right? So again, apple, pineapple, 
right? There are different things. So this, are, this is B, this is the alphabet, this is a group. So they are totally different things. Okay, so your LCD would be B times B minus 5. Okay, let's go to number 14. You have 4 over 3x plus 2x over uh, 3x plus 6. As soon as you see addition, subtraction, you have to think about factoring. So you got to factor this. Okay, so go and do the factoring. So you can factor the 3, so it would be x plus 2. Okay, so you can, as soon as, soon as you see, see the addition, subtraction, those are terms you got to factor. So LCD is equal to the number, you got 3, 3, so LCD of 3 and 3 is 3, right? Because 3 can divide by 3, 3 can divide by 3. So that's the number, the alphabet would be x, right? So number alphabet, the group is x plus 2. So again, they are not the same, this is the alphabet, this is the group. Okay. And so your LCD would be 3x times x plus 2. Okay, let's go to next one. Let's go to 16. You got 2x over x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus 5 over x minus 1 plus 11 over 12x cubed. Okay. So again, these are terms, you have to think of a factoring, so that's going to factor everything on the bottom. Don't do anything with the top. Okay. On the bottom, you're going to get, this is a perfect square, so it'll be x minus 1 square, right? that's your step 2b, minus 5 over x minus 1, plus 11 over 12x3. Okay. So once you're done factoring, you can get your LCD. So again, LCD, first you do the number, so the number is 12. And you go to the alphabet, the alphabet is x, right? So it'd be x to the 3. Then you do the group. So this is a group to the 1 power, this is group to the 2 power. So it'd be to 2 power, okay? So you can number, alphabet, group. And so that would be, that's your LCD. Okay, okay, so remember, number, alphabet, group. And let's go to number 18. You have 2x plus 3 over x squared minus x minus 12 plus x minus 4 over x squared plus 6x plus 9. Okay, so that's going to factor the, the bottom. Again, don't do anything with the top, okay? So this one, step one, common factor cannot. Step two, perfect square cannot. So you have to go to master product. So you go off to the side, do the master product. So it'll be negative one, negative 12. So one comma, negative 12, two comma, negative six. 3 comma negative 4, and that's it, right? Okay, so you're going to get x plus 3, x minus 4. Okay. okay. Now, don't cancel anything out, okay? This, this is not a multiplication, so cannot cancel. If it's a multiplication, then you can cancel. But this is addition, so it's totally different things. Okay, so let's go and factor this. This is your step 2b. That's a perfect square. So it would be x plus 3. Okay, so now you're ready to do, it. do your LCD. So LCD equal number, no number, alphabet, no alphabet, the group. Okay, so group, so this one, so you got x minus 4, so you need that. That's nothing obvious, so you take the higher one, right? Now you got x plus 3, okay? So you take the higher one. This is to the 1 power, this is the 2 power. So to become multiple of either one, you have to have a 2 power. Okay, and so that's it for number 18. Okay, let's go to number 20. You have 2y plus 5 over y squared plus 6y plus 9 minus 7y over y squared minus 9 minus 11 over 8y squared minus 24y. Okay, so again, let's go and do the factoring. So this is your step... Uh, 2b, the perfect square, right? So you can go through the step, step 1, step 2, step 4, right? So this would be y plus 3. Now this one is the step 2a, the conjugate, right? So it would be y plus 3, y minus 3. Okay, this one is step 1, common factor. You can factor the 8 and the y. So you're going to get y minus 3, okay? So you can make sure you go through the steps. 
Now, once you've done factoring, you can get your LCD, right? Okay, so LCD, okay, do the number. There's no number, uh, there's a number right over there, that's eight. Okay, then you go alphabet, there's an alphabet right over here. Then you do the group. So you have the Y minus three, right? So, so it's the same, right? Then you do the Y plus three, okay? Now Y plus three, you got Y plus three here and this Y plus three squared. So you have to take the one with a higher power, right? So that this will be multiple of that, this will be multiple of that. And so that's it. So you can number alphabet group. Okay, let's go to 22. You have 5x plus 1 over 10x squared plus 13x minus 3 plus 3x squared minus 1. You got 4x3 plus 12x squared plus 9x plus x plus uh, x minus 4. over 25x squared minus 10x plus 1. Okay, so that's going to factor each one of these. Okay, so this one, okay, step 1, common factor cannot. Step 2, uh, square, that's not a square, so you go to master product. I'm going to do it off to the side right over here. Okay, so this one you need to get 13 and negative 30. Okay. So you go 1 comma negative 30, 2 comma negative 15. So when I get over here, I see that this is going to be negative 13. So the sign is wrong. So I'm going to go 15 comma negative 2. Okay. Okay, now to break these things down, okay, if I go x and 10x, it's not going to work. Okay, because if you go x and 10x, none of these is multiple of 10. Okay, so you have to go to the next one. You have to try 2 and 5. Okay. So you have to try 2 and 5. So this would be the inside. Right? So you need to get plus 3. 5 times 3 give you 15. And this would be the outside. So you need to get minus 1. Right? 2 times minus 1 give you negative 2. Right? Plus. So over here, uh, this one is your perfect square, okay? So two, two square give you four. Uh, Where well you have to find out the x first. So this one you have to find out the x, okay? And then you get perfect square. So it'd be two x plus three, okay? Because you so first find out the common factor. If you find out the x, okay? So it becomes. Uh, 4x squared plus 12x plus 9, right? And this is that, okay? But don't do this. You kind of have to do it off on the side, okay? Okay, so you go plus the next one. Okay, this is your, again, this is your perfect square. So you, that's your 5x minus 1 square, right? So that's your step two, uh, 2, 2b. Okay, so now you're done with factoring. Now you're ready to do your LCD. So number, there's no number. Alphabet, that's an X, okay? Then your group, okay? Um, so this one, you get the 2X plus 3 square, right? This one, you have, this is one power, this is two powers, so you take the higher one. And then you have the 5X minus 1 square, right? Because this is a one power, this is a two power. So you need to go and take the higher power. And so that's it, that's your LCD. Okay.